How to crack TCS, NQT aptitude test. There are six reasons why students fail written exams. For placements. 1. Lack of placement training. 2. Lack of preparation or practice. 3. Lack of performance of candidates based on previous year's questionnaires or mock tests. 4. Unaware of methods, shortcuts, and tricks for solving problems. 5. Poor time management. 6. Lack of interest and wrong study strategies. To address these issues, I started a YouTube channel, Smart Aptitude Training. This channel explains tricks, tips, and shortcuts to solve quantitative aptitude problems in 5 seconds or less. 7 methods to solve aptitude problems in competitive exams in a smart way. 1. Basic concepts. 2. Digit sum method. 3. Approximation method. 4. Substitution method from given answers. 5. Elimination approach. 6. Common sense. 7. Speed maths. Let's now examine these methods for solving aptitude problems in detail. Model 1 basic concept. Percentage to fraction. Conversion. 14.2857% or 142 by 7% is 1 divided by 7. When we multiply both sides by 2, we get 28.5714% or 284 by 7%, which is 2 by 7 and the sequence follows. It is important to understand that when we multiply this cyclic number 14.2857 with 2, 3, 4 and so on, we get the same digits in all the answers. However, the digits are just displaced. The first example is simplifying 162 by 3% of 216 plus 142 by 7% of 343. The fraction of 162 by 3 percent is 16 into 3 plus 2 percent or 50 by 3 percent or 50 by 300 or 1 by 6. We can say that 14 2 by 7 percent is 1 by 7. 1 by 6 into 216 and 1 by 7 into 343 becomes 36 and 49 respectively. The sum of these values is the final result, which is 85. Second example, the price of a car is rupees 500,000. It was insured to 90 percent of its price. The car get damaged completely in an accident, and the insurance company paid only 80% of the insurance. What is the difference between the price of the car and the amount received? We can solve this problem in a smarter way, using the percentage of percentage concept. That is, 80% of 90% is equal to 72%. As a result, 72% of 500,000 rupees is equal to 360,000 rupees. The difference between 500,000 and 360,000 is 140,000 rupees. Model 2. Digit sum method. Simplify the equation 45 square plus 21 square is equal to question mark square plus 257. What value should come in place of the question mark? We may solve the problem in a smart way by employing the digit sum approach. Digital sum means adding digits of any group of numbers. The procedure involved is very simple. We have to convert any given number into a single digit by repetitively adding up all the digits of that number now. Apply this rule to compute the simplification problems quickly. 45 squared equals 4 plus 5 square, which is 9 squared equals 81. The sum of 8 and 1 is 9. Likewise, 21 squared equals 2 plus 1 square, which is 3 squared equals 9. In the left part of the equation, the sum of 9 and 9 is 18 and the sum of 1 and 8 is 9. In the right-hand side of the equation, the digit sum of 257 is 2. Plus 5 plus 7 is 5. To find the question mark square subtract 5 from 9, and we obtain the value 4. Then the final value is 2. However, this is not a result. Apply the digit sum technique to all the result options. The digit sum value of option D is 2, which is the same number obtained previously. Therefore, option D is the final answer. Model 3. Approximation. Let's look at an example to understand this simplification concept with the approximation technique. Simplify the equation 15 square minus 180.01 plus square root of 170 minus 25% of 249.89. Using the approximation technique, we solve this problem in a smart way. Take 180.01 is 180. The number 170 in the question is not a perfect square value. The square root of 169 is 13. So, consider the value 169 instead of 170. 
Next, 249.89 should be rounded to 250. Then perform calculations. The equation becomes 225 minus 180 plus 13 minus 1 fourth of 250. 225 plus 13 is 238. Then subtract 180 from 238 results 58. One fourth is nothing but half of the value and half of the value again. Half of 250 is 125 and half of 125 is 62.5. Then, subtracting 62.5 from 58 we obtain minus 4.5. This is an approximate value. The nearest value in the answer is minus 5. Model 4. Substitution method. The ages of A and B are in the ratio of 7 to 4 after 5 years. The ratio of their ages becomes 11 to 7. What is the age of A? We may solve the problem in a smart way. By employing the substitution method from given answers. From the given question, we need to find the age of A focus on the ratio value of A, which is 7. It is observed that the age of person A has to be the multiple of 7. Option A, which is 12, is not a multiple of 7. So option 1 is ruled out. Option B, which is 14, is a multiple of 7. Although it satisfies the first condition. After 5 years, the age becomes 19 years which is not a multiple of 11. So option 2 is also ruled out. Option C, which is 15, is not a multiple of 7. So option C is also ruled out. Option D, which is 28, is a multiple of 7. After 5 years, the age will be 33 years, which is a multiple of 11. Since option D satisfies both conditions, it is a correct answer. Model 5. Elimination. Approach. Question mark square plus 79 square is equal to 172 square minus 88. Square minus 8203. We may solve this problem in a smart way by eliminating answer. Options with the help of the unit digit method. We know that the number ends with 9, and the square ends with 1. Similarly, the number ends with 2, and the square ends with 4. The number ends with 8, and the square ends with 6. In 8203, the number ends with 3. The idea here is to balance the unit. Place number on both the sides. On the right hand side, two numbers end in 4. Hence, the difference is 0. If we subtract 3 from 0, that is 0 minus 3. In subtraction, we take borrow from the next number, then 0 becomes 10. As a result 10 minus 3 is 7. On the left hand side, one number ends with 1 and another number must end with 6. If the question mark square ends with 6, the question mark value or the square root of that number may be ended with either 4 or 6. Now, look at the answer options. Options A, B, and C do not end with 6, hence eliminated. Option D value ends with 6 and it is a correct answer. Model 6. Common sense. What is the difference between 73 percent of 142 and 42 percent of 73? From the concept of x percentage of y is y percentage of x. The first part of the question which is 73% of 142 may be expressed as 142% of 73. It is observed that the number 73 is common. So, 142% minus 42% is 100% or 100% of 73. We know that 100% of any number is equal to that number itself. As a result, the appropriate answer here is 73. Model 7. Speed Maths Let us look at a final example in the nested radical function. How to simplify the square root of 72, plus under the square root of 72, plus under the square root of 72, plus under the square root of 72, plus continues up to infinite. In math, 72 can be written as 8 multiplied by 9, or 8 times 9. The smallest value is 8. The highest value is 9, and the difference between these two values is 1. There is a really interesting math trick behind it. If the nested radical function has a positive sign, then the solution is the product of the highest value and the difference between two numbers. Likewise, if the nested radical function has a negative sign, then the solution is the product of the lowest value and the difference between two values. In this problem, the nested radical function has a positive sign. So, 9 into 1 equals 9, which is the final answer. Let's look at another example of the percentage concept. The sales of company A is 40% less than company B. Then the sale of company B is how much percentage more than A. The sales of company A is 40% less than 
Company B, the fraction for 40% is 4 divided by 10. We must determine how much percentage is more than A. The key word here is more than, which indicates we must increase the fraction. This may be achieved by decreasing the denominator value. Here, the numerator value is 4. So, subtract the denominator value by 4. As a result, the denominator value is 10 minus 4. The fraction then becomes 4 by 6 or 2 by 3. It may be expressed as a percentage, which is 2 divided by 3 equals 66.66 percent. Let's look at an example of the average concept. The mean weight of a class of 35 students is 45 kilogram. If the weight of the teacher is included, the mean weight increases by 500 grams. Find the weight of the teacher. There is a really interesting math trick behind it. For including or excluding concepts, we use direct formula, that is, the average value plus or minus the change in value into new count is equal to the new person's value. The mean weight is 45 kilograms, the change in weight is 0.5 kilograms, and the new count is 36. We can write 45 plus 0.5 into 36. So, the weight of the teacher is 63 kilogram. Here is another example of the average concept. The average salary of all the staff in an office of a corporate house is rupees 5,000. The average salary of the offices is rupees 14,000 and that of the rest is rupees 4,000. If the total number of staff is 500, the number of offices is we can solve this type of question in a smart way. Using the proportion technique, we also know that the average salary of all the staff is rupees 5,000, the average salary of the offices is rupees 14,000, and that of the rest is rupees 4,000. The difference between 5,000 and 4,000 is 1,000. Similarly, the difference between 14,000 and 5,000 is 9,000. It means that the ratio of the number of offices to the rest of the staff is 1 to 9. 1 plus 9 equals 10. Total value 10 is 500 staffs. Then, one value is 50. So, the number of offices is 50, and the number of the rest of the staff is 500 minus 50 equals 450. Let's look at an example of the profit and loss concept. A fair price shopkeeper takes 10% profit on his goods. He lost 20% goods during the theft. His loss percent is, to solve this problem, first, we must first understand that the shopkeeper made a profit of 10%, which is plus 10%. During the theft, shopkeeper lost 20%, which means, minus 20%. According to the effective percentage formula, the net percentage between two percentages is plus 10 minus 20 plus 10 into minus 20 divided by 100. So, we get minus 12% which is a 12% loss. Here is another example of the profit and loss concept. A book is marked 80% above the cost price and sold at a 40% discount. If the difference between the discount given and the profit earned is rupees 460.8, then find the MRP of book. Let's assume the cost price of the book is 100%. A book is marked at 80% above the cost price, which means the marked price will be 180%. The book was sold at a 40% discount, which implies 40% of the 180 is 72%. Then, subtracting 72 from 180 gives 108%, which is the percentage of the selling price of the book. Profit is defined as the difference between the Selling price and the cost price, which is 108% minus 100% equals 8%. According to the question, the difference between the discount given and the profit earned is 72 minus 8%, or 460.8. Then we must determine the MRP of the book, which is 180%. Solving these two equations provides 1296 rupees, which is the MRP of the book. Let us now look at an example in simple interest. Mohan lends out a sum to Ramesh at 6% per annum. A simple interest rate in such a way that the rate of interest increases by 0.5%. After the end of every year, calculate the lent sum, if after 4 years Mohan receives 1080 rupees as interest. Assume the principal is 100%. Given that the interest rate is 6%, every year, the interest rate rises by 0.5. Then the interest rates for the following four years are 6%, 6.5%, 7%, and 7.5% respectively. The overall interest rate should be 27%, which is equal to 1080 rupees as interest. To solve this problem, we can use the proportionality concept to find the length sum. Based on the information given, we can set up two equations. 
If 27% equals 1080, then 100% equals x, so we can set up a proportion. 27 divided by 100 equals 1080 divided by x. We can solve for x by cross multiplying. Then the lent money is 4000 rupees. Next example in compound interest. If the rate of interest equals 162 by 3% per annum, time equals 3 years, principal equals 6480 rupees. Then calculate the compound interest and amount in rupees. Given, the interest rate is 162 by 3%, which equals 1 divided by 6. The principal in this example is 6. Add numerator and denominator values to get 